From the startling collapse of a 160-foot section of road outside an apartment building in central China, and an out-of-control cargo ship that sent a massive crane crashing into the water below, to a 900-ton telescope in Puerto Rico that was finally ready to throw in the towel, and a construction site failure in Nanning, China that nearly dragged the entire road down with it. Here are 10 catastrophic failures that were caught on camera. Just north of Hong Kong, you'll find the sub-provincial city of Shenzhen, China. In the summer of 2015, construction workers ran for their lives as the ground beneath them felt extremely unstable. The entire site was about to come crashing down. They were working on the proposed Qianhai District, Shenzhen's new international finance region. It was supposed to be the Wall Street of China, but shaky land beneath the foundation set the project back a few months, maybe years. Workers scramble away from the construction site. You can hear the structure creaking and cracking. They warn each other to get back as the wall starts bending. Just look at it. It looks like it's holding back a flood. Small pieces start falling from the bottom. Then, the entire thing comes crashing down. Everything slides from the foundation. You can see pieces of the road falling in the pit across the valley. Whoever owns that car is lucky it didn't move. Nobody got hurt during the collapse, but it did set the entire project back. Inspectors blamed the catastrophe on soft soil beneath the foundation. The project was built on reclaimed land, which is basically artificial land built over bodies of water. The Port of Shanghai is the largest seaport in the world. It earned that title in 2010, when it officially surpassed its rival in Singapore. In 2022, more than 47 million 20-foot containers passed through the port. That is enough to wrap around the Earth six and a half times. But with so much traffic coming in and out every day, mistakes are bound to happen. On August 9th of 2021, one cargo ship may have made the biggest mistake in port history. The runaway vessel crashed into the wharf, leading to a domino effect you have to see to believe. They say slow and steady wins the race. In this case, slow and steady keeps everyone on the edge of their seat. The crew probably radioed in and said that they were out of control. As the boat approaches, it doesn't look like anybody is on or near the dock. It inches closer and closer to the pier before finally making contact. The dock tries to fight back, but there's no stopping that ship. 
The entire thing gives way and collapses into the water. Watching that crane fall is like watching a scene from Godzilla or Pacific Rim. It looks like a toy from so far away. Imagine if you were standing right underneath it. These videos don't make us feel any better in the middle of a supply chain crisis, but at least nobody was injured. Tel Aviv is the technological and economic center of Israel. As such, new construction projects pop up almost every day. Some of those projects require tall cranes, so it's not uncommon to see them sticking up in the skyline. In late October of 2015, severe weather battered the Middle East. Some parts of Israel saw baseball-sized hail, and others were met with tropical storm force winds. Two men were working on a high-rise building when things got crazy. The wind blew loose objects across the floor and out the exposed sides. Then, our workers noticed something wrong with the crane next door. Our cameraman takes a huge risk getting so close to the edge. The wind could easily pick up a pallet or a loose tile and hit him in the back. Still, he and his buddy can't help but laugh. You know, that crazy person laugh you make when you're afraid. That is when the crane steals his attention. It bends in half and looks like it's about to crash into the street. Thankfully, the arm doesn't break. It just slumps over like it has bad posture. Hundreds of thousands of central Israelis were without power once the storm passed. According to the Times of Israel, wind speeds topped 55 miles per hour that day. Everyone loves a good marble countertop, but do you ever stop to think about where it comes from? Well, your marble might come from the mines in Bunir, Pakistan, a mining district in the country's northeastern region. Each of those blocks can weigh over 20,000 pounds, meaning you need some extra heavy machinery to move them around. On August 3rd of 2017, one flatbed bit off a little more than it could chew. Seraja? Serajo? It's been a slow and steady process thus far. Only one more turn stands between our driver and a successful delivery. We hear a few ominous noises, and then the truck starts rolling. Unfortunately, the brakes fail, and the truck can't stop. It slams into the mountainside and rolls over, spilling its entire cargo. It looks like the front right tires fell off too. The driver appears to be okay. As scary as it was, seeing him stand in the cab was a little funny. Poor guy doesn't look older than 16. The Arecibo Observatory was a massive space telescope located about 10 miles south of Arecibo, Puerto Rico. It used to be the largest of its kind, then, China's 500-meter aperture spherical radio telescope, aka FAST, claimed first place. 
Arecibo had stood strong since the early 1960s. It survived several earthquakes and hurricanes, but old age finally got the better of it. In August of 2020, one of the cables holding the central platform snapped. They planned on fixing it, but then another cable broke three months later. On the verge of total failure, the National Science Foundation decided to tear Arecibo down, but the telescope had its own ideas. You're currently watching a 900-ton object crash into the hills of Puerto Rico. It falls nearly 450 feet onto the dish below. The cables pull on other structures around the area, causing towers in the foreground and background to topple over. They planned on sending crews out to inspect the telescope and determine the best way to take it down. At least they won't have to pay for a professional demo. Drone footage from the collapse shows us the moment the cables snapped. It's amazing how a few tiny wires cause the entire thing to suddenly fail. According to Ramon Lugo, director of the Florida Space Institute, the telescope lost about one wire every day after Thanksgiving. It was impossible to save at that point, and it was only a matter of time before it came crashing down. Somewhere in Russia, a group of workers learned an important lesson in weight versus counterweight. When working with cranes, the object you're lifting can't be heavier than the crane itself. You also need to keep it close. On December 10th of 2013, a heavy-duty crane arrived to lift a tank. Apparently, it wasn't heavy-duty enough. Now we can't say why they needed the crane to move the tank, so we'll assume it got stuck on the road. One of the men pokes the tank, causing it to rotate as the crane moves it over the trees. But the tank begins drifting, which throws the balance off. The entire contraption tips over, and the top of the crane crashes through a covered truck. Luckily, none of the men were standing directly underneath. We wonder if they had an even bigger crane on standby. Known as the Green City, Nanning, China is famous for its abundance of subtropical plant life. Of course, such foliage only grows in humid climates with frequent rain. While the city is pretty on the outside, it is susceptible to landslides on the inside. On June 8th of 2019, after days of heavy rain had pelted the region, the ground beneath a main roadway began to weaken. It caused cracks along the foundational walls at a nearby construction site. Thankfully, some attentive construction officials noticed the cracks and evacuated the area before disaster struck. Frustratingly, the video ends right there, and we weren't able to find any more online. Imagine, though, looking down from your apartment and watching the entire thing collapse. You can see where crews built emergency walls to close the road in the nick of time. According to the incident report, about 4,500 cubic meters of debris collapsed into the pit. The day before the collapse, workers noticed cracks in the road that measured 15 inches wide by 60 feet long. 
Apparently, a group of experts deemed the site safe after examining the cracks. They changed their minds about five hours before everything came crashing down. About 1,000 miles northwest of Hong Kong is the prefecture-level city of Guang'an, China. Relentless rain weakened the foundation near an apartment complex parking garage. June of 2018 was a particularly rainy month in central China. Then again, East Asia is known for its heavy rainfall, leading to frequent disasters like flash floods and landslides. While the garage itself was okay, the 160-foot stretch of road leading to it wasn't as lucky. Plenty of people kept their cameras rolling when the road collapsed. The CCTV footage almost looks fake like someone built a model of the city and then destroyed it. One man records from what we believe is the apartment building in question. It looks like the ramp used to connect to the road. Obviously, not anymore. We hope that there's a rear exit on the other side of the building. Imagine looking out the window and seeing your apartment teetering on the edge of a cliff. According to reports, about 50 people were evacuated from the building and moved to nearby hotels. Meanwhile, inspectors examined the apartment to see if there was any structural damage. It was an expensive disaster, but one that thankfully caused no injuries. The Outer Banks is a 200-mile-long stretch of barrier islands off the coast of North Carolina. Right in the middle is the Cape Hatteras National Seashore, a 70-mile stretch of protected federal land. While life on the Cape is beautiful, Living on a barrier island comes with risks. Those risks were on full display in May of 2022. A low-pressure system inundated the Outer Banks with strong winds and massive waves. Many homes on the seashore are built on stilts to avoid flooding during high tide. Sometimes, the combination of wind and waves proves to be too much. That is a $381,000 home you're watching collapse into the ocean. It rides a few waves before the walls start crumbling. You can see small pieces breaking off and floating away. Unfortunately, this was the third house that collapsed into the Atlantic Ocean. Their neighbors watched similar scenes a few numbers down. Many experts point to climate change and rising sea levels as the primary reason for houses collapsing in the Outer Banks. According to federal officials, sea levels in the area rise about one inch every five years. In fact, some Outer Banks beaches are shrinking more than 14 inches every year. On July 12th of 2017, a ferry off the coast of Turkey lost control and slammed into the dock. We're not sure if they had engine trouble or if the captain wasn't paying attention. You know when you have an awful feeling about something? That's how our friend in the yellow car must have felt when he saw this ferry barreling straight for the shore. Big boats like that look pretty slow from a distance. Just wait until they get too close.
Seeing everything up close puts the accident into perspective. Just look at how big those chunks of concrete are. It looks like the ferry was supposed to dock here. It just came in a little too hot. You can see a few more people moving away on the right side of the CCTV footage. We're not sure if anyone other than the crew was on the ferry when it crashed. The accident attracted a crowd as workers began cleaning up. When something like this happens, where do you even start? To see another video just like this one, be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching and tune in next time.